right, man, Ticket TV. Y'all check the link. Check the link because I'm going to put it in the description. This is Lakers Nation right here. Check the link. See, this is the thing. I hate when people come on your channel. You guys came on my channel all this time and talked all this bullshit. And you didn't know what you was talking about. And I tried to school you. I tried to birth you niggas on the game on what was going on. But no, you guys want to stand up, stick your chest out, and act like this homemade, homegrown, clown-ass LeVar Ball knew what he was doing. When he was just a dude who was running his big-ass mouth, doing dumb shit. How many fathers in America are doing their job? A lot. How many black fathers doing their job? A lot of them. A lot of them are, but a lot of them are. And they don't even get the recognition. And they're not seeking the recognition like this guy does. And it should hurt his sons in the long run, man. It's hurting his sons, man. And all of you clowns who came out channel, oh, he's a lot to go to the Lakers. I told you he's not a lot. I told you that it's likely the Lakers would not pick this dude, man. All of this stuff stemming off his daddy's big ass mouth at the end of the day. Trust me when I tell you. Sometimes you open your mouth and you remove all doubt, ladies and gentlemen. Sometimes when you love your kids, you let your kids shine. How much have you guys heard from Lonzo, actually? Tell me this. How much have you heard from Lonzo? You heard from his damn daddy more than you heard from him. And all of you guys, oh, Magic, that's his guy. Magic loves his guy. You guys don't know that. I told you this. Now, the link in the description box, Lonzo Ball has a workout coming on June the 7th. Now, they thought he was going to work out with the other guys, but he wants his own solo workout. So guess what? Lonzo Ball has to wow, wow the Lakers organization in that workout. Or reportedly, the Lakers ain't even thinking about taking him. They going to go ahead and take uh, De'Aaron Fox or, or, or the other guy. I told you guys this. Did I want this for the kid? No, because the kid did not deserve this. Lonzo Ball can play. He's not a bum. He can play. He needs improvement. He's not this superstar that y'all think that he's, that he's ready to be. But he, he's a good, he could be a good, solid NBA point guard that can develop and blossom into, you know what I'm saying, a very good player in the future. He still has things he got to work on, man. You guys don't understand this. Y'all dudes that, that ain't really in in the system and don't know how basketball really works, you just talking, man. Just like you talking about, oh, well, his other two sons are superstars too. No, they're not. They don't even play defense. Don't even pass half court. They cherry picking basket hang the whole game. And they're not even playing against good competition out there where they playing at. Look at the whole videos. Don't look at them highlights. Look at the videos. Look at their percentages of what they shooting in these games. Coming, taking shots from half court. Getting it blocked. All kind of shit, man. I, I'm sorry. I got to tell the truth on my channel, man. I can't lie. So you can call me whatever you want to call me a hater instead of third. I'm telling the truth, and in the end, y'all gonna be better for it. But the Lakers are, are, are seeming to be off of this guy. You got Lakers insiders saying that if this kid doesn't go in and absolutely blow the doors off the Lakers organization in this workout and interview, they're not gonna draft him. And I told you this. And his big ass mouth daddy came on TV. Oh, well, we ain't working off for the Celtics. And now I told you guys the first sign was when the Philadelphia 76ers talk came up about them possibly working out with the 76ers because that lets you know that the Lakers are going to pass up on this guy why else would they talk about working out with the 76ers who have the third pick in the draft man dog you guys don't listen man check the link in the description though you guys will get a harsh dose of reality man again I want black people to be successful I want all this the dude's daddy turned down 10 million now he's made a, a, over about 150 200,000 dollars right now off the shoot thing people ain't getting them shoes till November how you order shoes now and don't get them to November? When have you ever heard of that? But y'all defended that. Daddy could have had 10 million in the hand right now. Oh, well, he ain't no slave to the companies, but his son's still wearing Nikes. Oh, well, they ain't got the shoes in yet. Excuse for everything. You guys got excuses for everything. And I keep shooting that shit down because I know it's horse. I know it's bullshit. And I keep trying to tell you guys the right way. Y'all don't want to listen. So I'm going to have to school you the hard way. You got to learn the hard way. And it's going to be a harsh dose of reality to all of you guys when the Lakers don't select this kid on draft night. Now, do I hope that he goes in there and wows the Lakers? And yes, because the kid deserves it, man. The kid deserves to have a fair opportunity, man. But his father took that from him with his big-ass mouth and his narcissist. Listen, I agree with LeVar Ball with what happened with the girl Kristen Leahy and all that stuff. I agree with him. But all that other shit... Just, he's just running his mouth. And they're not going for that shucking job show. 
You guys think Magic Johnson, an all-time great NBA point guard, is going for that bullshit? A barbershop talking dude who's running his mouth, trying to get publicity? They see right through that shit. You think they want that anywhere around here? You guys came on when I told you the first sign was that the Lakers partnership group, it was rumored that they don't want anything to do with the dude's father, LeVar Ball. Oh, what does that have to do with the Lakers? That's what people say. In the what does that have to do with the Lakers? Multi-millions is what it has to do with the Lakers. They cover the Lakers. So if the people that's covering you, that's helping you, giving you TV deals and this stuff, don't want nothing to do with his father, what does that say? The multi-millions that that TV company is putting in your organization are going to speak well over this kid. He's, I'm telling you, he's not LeBron James coming out of high school. He's not Allen Iverson coming out of Georgetown. And, and you had it, and, 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 and one of my subscribers, big ups to, I mean, I like the brother, but man, you got to stop being so delusional, man. I, I, I'm trying to think of your name, man. He came on yesterday talking about, um, oh, well, when I said the $10 million deal, oh, well, she, uh, why they, they should have offered him more. Man, do you know how many NBA players didn't even get offered $10 million that had way better resumes coming out of college than Lonzo Ball? Lonzo Ball averaged 14 points and 7 assists. You act like those are just numbers that jump through the roof. Yes, he was a freshman, but damn, you had other people that came out of school that was just hotter. Take it TV, man. Y'all dudes got to get a uh, harsh dose of reality, man. Y'all need to go back and look at how much Stephen Curry's shoe deal was when he came out of school, man. Man, this is all crashing down. And listen, every pick he drops, he's losing millions and millions of more dollars because when you're the number one pick, you're guaranteed to get these amount of dollars. So this kid drops and drops and drops. Guess what? His father effectively lost him millions of dollars. From every pick he drops, he's losing millions. When before his father ran his mouth, they had this dude going number one overall. And I don't want to hear no shit about, oh, well, they can't handle a strong black man. No, man. They can't handle a dumbass black man. And LeVar Ball came out like a damn fool, man. I tried to tell you guys, man. All of this stuff, the shoe deal, I said it. Man, listen, LeVar Ball got no problem when he want to come out and do his own shoes. He want to sell them mugs for $500, you lost your damn mind. If he would have sold them for $100, he would have had, he would have sold a million pair. He would have already checkmated everybody. Because you had so many people on his side. But all you fake ass dudes who come on these channels, oh, we, we, we going to support LeVar Ball. None of you guys posted receipts of where you purchase those shoes so i don't want to hear it shut the hell up if you bought the shoes you can talk a lot of you guys didn't even buy a shirt he oh yeah he was selling them shirts for 60 a lot of you guys didn't even buy the shirt but y'all got the biggest mouths when it comes to these comment sections Oh, you a hater. You don't support Lord Ball Ball, man. You a hater, man. Stay on call. You, I'm a hater, and you a hypocrite. Because you talking about support this brother, and you ain't even support him. Yeah. Now, who's telling the truth now? And I got another video that's about to drop. I'm about to expose something else that's been going on that y'all ain't peeped. They finna X this dude all the way out, man. I keep trying to tell y'all this, man. I, once again... For the record, I agree with LeVar Ball on the Kristen Leahy situation. I totally agree. I agree that the Argentina company was full of bullshit when they tried to say he stole their brand. He didn't steal their brand. They just trying to get publicity off this shit. He didn't do that. But all the other shit the dude did, he ran his damn mouth so much. When you piss people off, like, you know, the best player in the NBA right now, LeBron James and Stephen Curry and all those guys, when you start pissing these guys off, Oh, they can do some shit to your ass now, man. You guys underestimated that. Y'all gonna find out on draft night. When this kid's dreams are shattered, all you guys, I want all you guys to pick up the pieces. Because I tried to tell you, man. Now, this is that ether, that shit that make your soul burn slow. Because I ain't doing nothing but telling you the truth. See, you gonna get the truth over here. I'm telling y'all the truth. Because I want to help you. So you can learn from these mistakes, man. When we move forward in the future, we don't have to deal with this dumb shit again. Because we know 
what the facts are. Ticket TV, man.